What's going on guys, thanks for tuning back to another video where today this is another tutorial, an updated tutorial on how you can create your own channel slash banner art via your YouTube homepage. Absolutely free, as I said this is an updated tutorial from my last one and is this one is more simpler I think and more easier to do. So, first of all I'll leave a link in the description to this website all you need is we today we'll be using pixlr.com to create the banner so essentially go on pixlr.com slash editor right here so there'll be a link in the description so pixlr.com slash editor right here then you'll come up with this click create a new image right here and then where it says width right here change this to let me quickly check so 2560 2560 to 1440 like that like that, are you sure right here? So 2560 and 1440. Make sure you click transparent and name it. I don't know whatever you want to name it, so I'm just gonna name it test banner. Like that. So, and then click OK. And then bam, it will come up right here. So first of all, what you need is obviously a background for your banner. What you can do is click on the paint bucket tool, which is right here. And also, guys, this should be all colored for 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 whatever reason. For me, it's black and white, as you can see. But this all should be colored for you. But first of all, whatever color you want, to so click on the paint bucket tool, which is right here, and then click on this uh, color right here and then choose whichever color you want so let's say I want like a green and then put this back right here so it's fully green however you want you can change however customize however you want click OK and then left click and here's your ban uh, here's your background or uh, another way you can get a banner is the gradient tool which is right here as I said this all should be colored for you for whatever reason mine's black and white and it doesn't really look nice but whatever so click on the gradient tool if you want and then click up right here where it says gradient and then choose which gradient you like so I'm just going to choose let's say this blue one right here and then what you can do let's just click, click, click outside what you can do is hold left click and then drag up like so and then bam it will be like this however you want so if I want left click right here it will show however the gradient however you like it like so or another way is you can go and google images and search whichever um, image you want so let me just go for let's say grunge background so that if you want a grunge background click type grunge black black one. I also want a blue one let's go let's say you can type a blue grunge background right here and make sure it is bigger than the size must be bigger than 2560 by 1440 so click the blue grunge pack right here as you can see this is more uh, than 2560 by 1440 click on that and it will come up or you can let like, hover over and you'll see right down right here how big it is um, so choose whichever background you like so I am going to go for a let's choose I don't. I'm not a big favor of grunge, but we're gonna use it for the purpose of this. So I'm just gonna choose this one for example, and then uh, okay. So I'm actually gonna pick this background right here. We simply do click on the uh, image you want. So I click on this. Right click. Click save. Click save right here. Now go back onto the tab right here, guys. Okay, so once you picked your background, what you click simply do is click file, top left, uh, top left, click file, open image, and then search, uh, find whichever one do. So I'm just going to click on that, and then bam, here's the image. So I chose a different one uh, than this one because I think this one's not really nice. But well, I found this one right here. Um, so once you open whichever background you want, click Control A. Um, to select all, so it will say select all, and then control, hold control C to copy right here. Now go back on here, click control V, and then bam, it will be pasted right there. Now, if you go back on layer uh, zero right here, which is the previous one, actually, no, if you go back, if you that, so if you just move this uh, down right here, then you can simply close this out, click, uh, uh, click no for saving changes because you don't need to save that and then BAM is right here so what you can do if you want to resize it you can click edit and you can do click free transform make sure you're holding shift and then you can resize it however you want so I like it like that I like it however it was click on outside click it will say apply change click yes and BAM will apply the changes so now you have your background what you can do is obviously get your text so click on the text tool right here click on the thing and then 
do whatever text you want. So I'm just going to say this is mainly your channel name. So I'm just going to write best, best or beast. Oh, why not beast? Yeah, beast channel like that. And then you can uh, hold like that, and then you can change your color wherever you want. So I'm going to go for let's say. So you can also drag out just to see it. So I'm just going to go for a red one and fully red. Um, you can customize however you want. Uh, you can change the font right here. So I'm just going to do for now. Let's go for. Um, let's go for Call of Ops Duty, and then uh, you can click size right here and make it however big you want. So let's do 130, and then click align, click middle align right here, and click OK. Um, actually, if I click go back on there, I actually did this. Okay. Apparently, this font apparently doesn't have exclamation mark so I'm just going to change the font a little bit let's go for this one yeah this one looks much better as well so note that um, this um, it the um, banner doesn't display the whole thing so it displays I think that roughly here this from here just this middle part right here so make sure not to put like images right here as well so what also you can do is make sure you're on that layer so make sure you're on that text layer you can click on this explosion thing right here and then you can add effects to your text. So let, let's say if you want to drop shadow, as you can see, this looks cool right here. You can click on it, change the opacity, make sure you want it full and distance, and the size you want it as well. I like it zero and the distance right here. Like at that, you can add the inner shadow if you want. Uh, you can mess around with this bevel if you want, outer glow, inner glow. You can change the uh, uh, settings right here if you click on it. Um, but I'm just going to leave it with drops, just drop, uh, drop shadow for now, and then click OK. What also you can do is obviously um, add another text. So let's say you want another text, simply right click on the text, click duplicate layer, and then it will say copy right here. Click back on text, actually click on the move tool right here, and then just drag it down like so, and then click on the text tool, and then change and change wherever you want. So let's say uh, subscribe. Uh, subscribe subscribe for more let's go for that and then obviously you're gonna make that a bit smaller than the actual one you can change the color like I said let's do a red this time but did I say red for the last one oh, I did green but whatever uh, but let's go for red right here oops I didn't save it let's just go red right here make sure you click OK down here and then let's actually make it a bit smaller just so it looks nicer align it click ok and then click on the move tool again and then make it like that so that's basically all your text done obviously you can edit as i said click on that and then change whatever you want let's add a actually i'm not going to add anything i'm just going to leave it like that and so this is how it looks like what also you can do is add a image so let's just go for a controller and then make sure you write png at the end so it's transparent let's just go for roller and then go back on here click File, open image, and then find whatever it was. So, game controller right here. Click open, and bam, it is. Control A again, Control C, and then you can close that. Click no, and then Control V, and it's right here. Um, and then you can drag it wherever you want. So, let's do here. As I said, you can click edit, you can do free transform. Make sure you're holding shift, and then you can right click and drag however big you want. So, I want to like here. And then yeah, that's basically it. And then click on the outside, click yes to apply changes, and bam, there is your channel. You can also add many things there, add more images, whatever you want. But this is a simple one showing you how you can create your own free channel slash banner art. But yeah, that's okay guys. So one thing I forgot to show you is how to save it. So as you can see, I forgot to actually save it. But let's say you actually have your finished uh, banner. Uh, design right here what you can simply do is click file right here click save right here and then uh, save whatever name you want so let me call it real quick let's call it banner and then make sure the quality is always to 100 Come on. and then simply with desktop click save and bam there you go save and then you can simply upload it to your youtube homepage pretty much it hope you guys did enjoy make sure you give it a thumbs up down below comment down below what other tutorials you want to see me do um, to help you guys but that's pretty much it subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in another video peace